six comets and the visitor from another star, three atlas to all getting closer to the sun in 30 October 2025 days. It's possible that there will be two or three a year, but this time the, the lineup is seven at once with a, someone from another star system on a path with curves. Is it about space? Natural clustering is never an accident, seen in current records, or is it the data? A sign of more, the chances, the history, and the world's only been around for three I or Atlas made room for a find that might change what we think we know about chance in the sun and its rings. So what's really what is this wave? A hand you can't see or the, the craziest prize in the sky ever? Remember, when a comet hurtles toward the sun, a quiet change starts. At, to begin, it's just a cold speck. Ice and dust were stuck together, circling in very cold space. But as the comet, as it gets closer, the sun gets stronger. Here we are at perihelion, the moment of closest to the sun, when it's hottest, most powerful, and what the comet really is, is made clear. Perigee is when a comet's 100 degrees Celsius can be added to the surface. In just a few days, the ice is buried below the surface. Carbon and water, ammonia, and carbon dioxide go straight to gas. As the pressure builds, cracks appear and jets erupt from the center, sending out streams of that gas and dust into space. These jets don't just shape the comets how they look, they can change its path at any time. Just a little, changing the path by small parts of a second. For most comets, even though these changes are small, they are a sign of how active these are things turn into as they speed past the sun. The end result is a coma and a bright a cloud of gas and dust that can get bigger that are tens of thousands of kilometers across. Sunlight bounces off of this cloud, making the comet could be seen from Earth. The coma is where the comet's light, which is measured in magnitude, they use this scale to keep track of how a comet is very easy to see. Less numbers mean things are better. To get a comet to be able to see with the naked eye needs to be about six or not as much. A lot of them never get that bright in the background or getting lost in the sun's bright light. But when things are just right, a A comet can be brighter than the stars and take over. An eerie glow in the night sky. Then there are two different kinds of tails. Each one is shaped by various causes. The A wide curved dust tail appears as little grains are pushed away by sunlight in a coma. It shows off yellow and white light bending slowly along the comet's path. A short blue line makes up the ion tail moved backwards by the solar wind. The path of this stream of charged particles molecules away very quickly, sometimes causing the tail to break off or snap during solar storms only. Both tails face away from the sun, but colors and angles show what is, what's going on inside the comet. Every move is a race against heat and time. Some comets get bright, then they break up or fade away before they are ever seen from the Earth. Others make it through the fight, looping once more into the dark for a loop, sometimes hundreds of years later. But for the during a short time around perihelion, every the comet turns into a lab. It's lights and stories that record the there is a dance between ice, rock, and sunlight, the language of size, and the jet drama and stories. These are the hints that scientists use to guess which comets will live on in stories and which will be gone without a trace. On Mount the Dark Hills of Aloha, also known as Atlas Asteroid Impact on Earth, last alert, keep an eye out for strangers. In it marked C slash 2025 K1 for May 2025. Perihelion, a comet that is getting brighter, quickly planned for October 8th. The first prediction showed a dangerous solar pass, a split, and a magnitude just above 5.2 enough to use glasses. The warning from Atlas was just the start. In September, the SWAN played on board. C slash 2025 R2 was caught by SOHO. SWAN is an expert in ultraviolet. Comets can be found by their gas. Outgasses, this one said it would be close, 0.27. Stars from Earth reaching a peak around October 21st. It's south. Direction and expected size of four people raised hopes for a show with no glasses, seeing if it's action held. Stereo, which generally follows solar storms, 414P was found, a weak sun gazer moving quickly. These comets skim the sun, or you might fall apart, before they swung away. Each comet different, but all leading to the same thing days. The look at Mount Lemmon above Tucson sent in C slash 2025A6, or Lemmon, a friend each once in a while with the orbit was mapped. The perihelion of Lemon falls on October 21st, which is also Swan. Its brightness changes all the time. Some models say magnitude 3, while others say not as clear as 8. Lemon's way up north means people watching from Europe to Canada will be able to see well. Pan stars, another study in Hawaii, added C slash 2025 K1. This new person isn't likely to sparkle, but when it happens is important for the gather. Every comet is made by a do a different search. 
robots and solar instruments and measurements done on the ground there, even though orbits meet and split, the, the calendar keeps bringing them together. 3i slash Atlas is the best of them all. The interstellar anomaly, which was found by Jupiter in July 2025. Its curve-shaped path and a path that only goes outward mark it as the third known visitor from another world, our sun and its parts. It falls at perihelion on October 29th, right after the main group. It's coming at this busy time. Window turns an unusual event into something scientists have a hard time measuring. For seven comets were named for the first time. Tracked by a different instrument, will peaks happen just a few days apart? The, the finding network goes from the two orbit, from UV to visible, making a web of alertness around the world. Every time something new is found, October 2025, more and more busy, setting the scene for a grouping that doesn't give, please explain. Every year the sky is blue, it doesn't offer many comedic wonders. The record of history going back after a hundred years of careful study shows a beat that you know. Two, maybe three stars that are bright enough for two pairs of glasses, one on each side of the seasons. A lot of years go by without any sight with the naked eye at all. When a comet, when it does come into view, it's usually a one artist, not part of a group. All astronomers, both professional and worker, I'm used to this. Steady pace, a slow drip of frosty water guests, and each one was a small event in the night sky's quiet record. Catalogs from the center of the small planet and the Union for the International Astronomy back this up. From 1900 to 2022, nearly as many comets as ever binocular vision per year stays around just above two, some decades, like the briefly in the 1950s or early 2000s. See, as more poles come out, or as solar, when things move, they move farther away. At the same time, though, all sky exploration tools, and EA at Pan-STARRS Atlas, the basic rhythm stays the same. Comets that are bright stay uncommon when they arrive spread out, sometimes months apart or even many years. The records only show a only a few times when two stars reach about the same brightness within a few weeks of everybody. Those shows are the Stargazer legends are made of this. The what to expect from clusters in October 2025 shows up against this background like a, a bolt of lightning on a clear night. Instead of two or three, the chart shows it will be seven stars in less than 30 days, which included an interstellar stellar and intrusion. The numbers are hard to believe. Simulations of Monte Carlo using a perihelion dates from the last hundred years, and estimates of the brightness show that the chances of seeing six bright stars and a cosmic object all squished into a less than one in 30,000 people die every month. It could be as rare as one in 100,000, you know, even after making adjustments for the better, how sensitive modern poles are, and for the fact that binoculars today can see things are fainter and farther away than ever. As before, the chance doesn't change much. Being grouped together is not a trick of digital tools. By every measure, it is. Yardstick is a strange one. Astronomical communities notice the strange thing almost in real time. Uh, at the start of 2025, as ephemerides for comets that were just found were put up on open skyboards, uh, there was the start of a pattern. Picture-making tools that were once only pros could use let amateurs put circles and spots on top of each other, all to themselves in the swarm. The feeling of there was a lot of surprise. No one could bring up a similar situation from the past. The archives just didn't have it. Survey bias is always a possibility in any sudden rush of new findings fails. To describe the time, as more comets now than they were in the picture plates, the real rate of newcomers, especially the smartest ones, most things that can be seen haven't changed, enough to make this kind of mess. The sun's energy will peak in 2025, increase the number of sun gazers and move a few more pieces around, but it can't put together a parade of big stars, each going in a different direction, coming together in the same month. The clustering isn't just a weird way that we do things. Check it out. It's a real event that was written down across the sky. Outliers in the numbers, they allow for discussion, but they also demand strength. The swarm of 2025 makes sense. An experiment and a stress test for each picture of how comets arrive and are found. Astronomers will go through the data and look for secret links. Echoes in orbits, common beginnings, and hints of separation a long time ago. But, the numbers speak for now, by themselves, the month of October 2025, not like any other comet in history looking at, a rise in the numbers that difficult to explain and sets the, the start of a more in-depth search for reasons. Number crunchers at the International. The numbers were run by the Astronomical Union as, as soon as the October 2025 lines were okay. And so they went to Monte Carlo. Computer lottery drawing and simulations dates that comets have been seen over a hundred years of notes. 
the question was the same in all of them. How how often do six bright comets plus visitors from other stars all reach a peak within a one month? The answer is almost never. In a game with one million years, the clustering showed up just a few of times. The chances as they are are less than one in 30,000 are so far away that they leave most. The chance charts are out of air. The first thing that comes to mind is survey bias. Surprise from the numbers, new scans of the sky such as Atlas, Pan Stars, and Swan sweep the sky with unwavering speed, see faint stars that would have slipped by older generations. But even after making changes for these sharper eyes, the strangeness barely changes. The simulations show that every gain in sensitivity and every boost in finding rate since the year 2000. The result was the chance of seeing so many bright, clear, with so many comets in one month, even less. Less than one in a hundred thousand, you would expect these chances. From a prize drawing, not the sky. Brightness, simple two won't go along with it, giving reasons. Look through telescopes to find more faint comets, but the number of really bright, naked eye prospects have stayed the same. Stayed the same for decades. The year 2025 clustering isn't a parade of small things. Better pictures make things look better. It's the coming together of stars that would have stuck out through all times each one passing the level of sight on its own virtues. The record of history spanning picture plates, log books, and digital catalogs only show one item at a time, flares and a rare two-piece, never a getting together like this. What you see from Small Planet Center laid out the past century in a very clear way. Most of the time, the, uh, the calendar is a simple grid with comets in it, peaks that happen months apart. The few go out several times, two comets have come close, Perihelion with other stars, take note, three in a month is a myth, seven, one of whom is an alien is an anomaly, a statistical spike that is so big it's on its own, sunlight didn't burst, activity, but pole coverage hasn't gone up, can make this design up by chance by yourself, the numbers that were once stacked refuse to not care about, models of probability, fixes for recognition and brightness, they all lead to the same thing in conclusion from October to December 2025. Clustering isn't just an illusion made by people, technology, or a statistical chance. By every measure, it's a real event that pushes the limits of by chance. One is left by the models. There is a question in the air. If luck, if you can't understand the swarm, what can? Let's say for a moment that these seven comets don't just follow the rules of luck. How could it be done? Plan for their arrival? Thanks, Dr. Kevin Blanchard, who was among the Atlas Discovery, set out the raw numbers as a team. To herd even two comets hitting at the same time just three ways, let alone seven, would forces that are much stronger than anything blasts of nature. Most non-gravitational, the nudges that Marsden's A1, A2, and, and the parameters for A3 barely show above one, one hundred thousandth of a G. Natural gas emissions can change the speed of a comet by less than a many meters over months. But to squeeze when perihelion windows by days, the it goes up to tens of meters per second for delta five. That's 100 times bigger than the, the craziest comet explosion ever seen. Sheep herding machines would leave. Wet fingerprints, all outside sunbursts at the same time, storm windows, signs of chemicals, made up atoms, metals, or molecules that aren't found in real comets deeply etched into their spectrum. Timed together circular changes that can be seen as sudden changes in the post perihelion ways out. A gun that smokes would be at such an odd isotope ratio that it could only to be made or a non-gravitational getting farther away from family with every comet that is known from what we know so far, normal in a stubborn way. The Marsden specifics for each comet fall in 2025 between what you'd expect for their size and how far it is from the sun, spectral from the ground and space, pictures only the well-known marks of water, ice, there is dust, and simple molecules. No lab-made isotopes, no ordered mood swings, and no signs. The numbers go away. Not a lot of room for fantasy. If a secret hand is working, it hides better than any tool that scientists know about. SETI's radio sweeps have begun again, and gone without a single man-made alert. The Allen Collection of Telescopes and teams from Breakthrough Listen kept track of every important thing in the October cluster, putting extra attention on three slash laws when it was getting close. Across the wide range, 1 to 11 gigahertz, hours of none of the above, no narrowband signals, pulses that were planned, and only the hiss amount of natural pollution and the background. It's clear from the quiet that any good outcome, if there's a message, it's really deep inside the instruments can reach, or it not there at the same time, solar maximum has reached its highest point. The weather in space. 
the models show a sun that is full of energy. High speed coronal mass ejections, there's solar wind and magnetic storms that space rocks and a comet that is stretched out ends that break each tail. Uh, not being connected in the October swarm, every sudden starlight or jet has at the same time as a rise in solar thing to do. Time is running out. Lemon short, the burst followed a geomagnetic storm figured out on Earth. These are old school signs of excitement caused by the sun, not signs that work together. There was no comet in the cluster gets closer to Earth than 0.27 units of the sky. Risk of impact is none. The real world risk doesn't come from from people who are cold, but from the sun itself. Storms in the sun that can knock out power grids and spaceships get stuck as the watch atheists are getting in line as the list grows. Campaigns that work together, spectral scans, tracking the stars, and open every oddity is recorded on panels. The rule stands. Claim of extraordinary ask for amazing proof. For now, the info stays the same. Not any fake speeding up, no designed molecules, no moves that are timed. The sky is, it's busy, but the truth is out. The test goes on. What would make this different? Picture, a sign, an artificial element moving in a way that no comet could carry out. But until then, doubt is not. Just be careful. It's the best tool we have. Have. Still, the reasons for such exact times are still not figured out because no unrelated comets are pushed by a known process to come together in this way. Like new observations start coming in during solar, scientists will keep an eye out for any changes that were not expected in bands, ocean, or breaking up. The 2025 comet cluster is now to remember. Our solar kit can still shock us, and each answer brings up new questions. 